I can't believe I'm still searching for the perfect sewing gadgets. Welcome to Keep or Eat, where I test those things so you don't have to. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I got a new handheld sewing machine. <laughs> this one is a two threader though, so I don't think it will give me the problems that that one gave me. I still find pieces of it in the car. Oh, bonus scissors included! What? I feel special now. <laughs> Two thread lock stitch, pop dropping bobbin, six volt power, or four AA feathers. There is one way of turning it on that's already included. The scissors. They seem to be stable enough. A screwdriver. And the monster. Oh, there are more pieces. A packet of bobbins and thread holders and the needle threader. One of the old ones. The thing is open and the bobbin fell out. It's sturdy and it's not heavy. On an off button, where is the power? Because it says it comes with a 6 volt power, whatever. Here, it didn't come with a power thing. <gasps> what? Open this! Hello! Oh, they lied to me. I bought a sewing machine. Yeah. And it says it came with a cable. It didn't. I'm, I'm sad. There is no cable in the box. Look! Included. The illegality. No! This... No! Wow! Fancy! Richtig, richtig schwer. Okay, this is McFarlane's. Das sind die großen. McFarts. This is the new Funko Pop for me. Ah. I want really new Müll to create. Here, there, there. Here is still the place in the regal. Give me the 3D-Gedruck, the Dusche! Hello! You stink! It's like a Kartoffelpüree. Kartoffelpüree? Ew. Kisses? Kisses? We know the kisses. So it's a top bobbing load. Ooh. Nothing special. The lever to put the foot up and down. There is no thread cutter. A pair of scissors that came with the thing. Where is the closure? There. Here is the to move the needle bar. Let's see if I can thread this. The looper. Looper. God, this is the worst thread I've ever seen. No, don't go away. Don't go away. Ah. Uh. It went forever. Are you going to pull the thread or what? All instructions are in Chinese and there is no specific instructions on how to thread the machine. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Very annoyed. Threaded. I'm still very upset that the cable that they promised me didn't come with or even the AC adapter, but I do have one over here. Or so I hope. Ah! And fabric. In. Oh my god, it just takes so much time to move the needle up. Ah, e. The top thread is fine. It's not the most beautiful seam I've ever seen in my life, but the bottom, ouch. Well, this is a problem with the upper. So, let me rethread this. Rethread it or not? Feel very, very bad. In the back, okay, in the front. See, there is no options to change the tension on the bobbing thread, which makes this here totally bullshitty. Let me play with this tension gauge here. This is very finicky to thread. I don't like it. The needle eye should be maybe facing the front to make it easier. Because even if I come here with the threader, I can't find a needle hole from this side. If you have trouble with your hands or your eyes, forget about it. And now I threaded the wrong thing. <laughs> I I will kill someone. Uh, go up. I really do enjoy that it stays like this and you can use both of your hands to sew, but the on and off button here, no way to control speed, no way to control the stitch size. Yes, maybe I want too much from such a tiny machine, but it's way very finicky, it's already stuck, the tension is terrible, and I already lost my patience with this thing here to move the needle up and down. It takes forever. Forever! I don't disappoint me, please. Supported! They lied to me, and now the thing doesn't work. I'm so sending this back. Oh! And also a thick sewing machine. Iron Tech. It has two speeds and a thread cutter. How fancy is that? Oh, USB. Ooh. Comes with a snip. Snip, 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 snip. 
a measuring tape, bobbins and other pieces, and also a needle threader. Very light as well, not as sturdy as the other one. Here come batteries or, oh god, the cable to turn it on on off. Ooh, fancy. This one is a single thread only, so it makes a chain stitch, mostly like that one. Oh, this is the lever for moving the needle up and down. And to remove the fabric, you just pull it off because there is no lever to move this. It's really like the first one I tried that time in the car. I don't have batteries with the cable instead. However, this cable is way too short. This color is pretty good. So, like towards me instead of... A Generally, you put it on the front and it will go to the back. This is the front. This makes no sense. And it's so weird that it goes the wrong direction. It's cool that it has two speeds, but why is it? Why is it? Why is it in the wrong direction? I don't understand. Wait. I think I have it. Maybe you have to hold it like this and then you have the right direction. I don't know what this is trying to accomplish. It's very hard to control the machine and the fabric one because you have to keep pressing the button. It, it will not stay at one speed. And that's kind of awkward if you're trying to sew like this and it, it will not go. You have to use your index finger. I think I prefer the other if one. it's easy to use or not. Oh. This one is gonna be really hard to thread. The needle hole is also to the end of the machine and not towards the person. And you have to come from the inside here. Like the tension thingy is over there. It's going to be very hard to reach. Oh. Oh my god. Let me try to thread this without losing my mind. This is where you put the spool, then over the tension lever here, and it will go right in that tension whatever. This is no. This is impossible. It's not impossible. It's just very annoying. Then, oh no, it's unhooked. Ah, push it with your thumb, it's easier. <sighs> Now uh, to thread the needle from the end of the machine towards the front. How? Oh, I can't even fit my hands there. In with this threader, maybe it will help me. In the needle eye. Try to hook it. Come on. <sighs> okay, I will stop buying these kind of gadgets. Cause I don't know why I always fall for this. I always have hope they will work and be easy, but at the end they just make my life miserable. Sometimes I hate being so naive. It's another disappointment when it comes to portable sewing machines. Ah, oh, I just can't anymore. <laughs> ah, oh well, that's life. Yeet! An automatic measuring tape. Because you know, for those of you who have problems measuring yourselves, like me, I can't measure myself because I'm incompetent. However, I know that there are people there who have mobility problems and this could be very useful. I know it seems so ridiculous, but I'm kind of excited for this one. Here, it has already two inches marked because you're going to put this here and you have to count the two inches. So it starts here on three and also you have centimeters on the inside. Will this help me measure myself? to make the bodice slope. If you don't feel like measuring your shelf, then get my slopers because they're already done. You just need to make a few adjustments so you can make any garment you want. The link is in the description. You're welcome for the very shameless plug. Welcome to my hip dips. You're supposed to take measurements naked, but I can't be naked on the internet. I'm not that kind of content creator. So this is the closest to being naked that I'll ever be on the internet. First problem with normal tapes is that when you're trying to measure yourself, you always have to make sure that the line is straight and on the widest part. Sometimes this can happen and this is annoying. So Having a friend to help you measuring is recommended, although not really necessary. But I I think this will help people with mobility problems as well as people who don't have any friends like, like me and that needs to do everything on their own. This is me boo bitch. It's straight on the widest part of my chest and then yeah it didn't work. Mm. So I already felt. So it gives me 42 inches for my boobs which is correct. For my waist I have 35 and a half inches which is also correct and it's in the right place. It keeps falling off this is annoying. My high hip. My high hip is 42 which is also 
correct? And my low hip is ah, open. 48. Which is also correct. So the measurements are right. All of them. It is easier to keep a straight line. But I'm really annoyed with this thing falling off all the time. It should have something to hold it in place. Not really hold it in place. Just to keep it from falling off all the time. It is way easier to measure yourself using this when you're alone. And you have mobility issues. Although this is ridiculous. I kind of like it. Keep! one is a sweet and sharp macaroon from Clover that is designed to sharpen needles because needles tend to get dull after a lot of use. It has some kind of foam in the middle that will help sharpening the tip of the needles. Almost the same principle as this thingy here. This is also made for sharpening needles but it has kind of a sandy thing inside. Let's search for a dull needle. Now to test the macaroon I need to make a poor needle suffer a little bit. Find a needle that needs to suffer. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I, I love the I had it and I lost it. Am I always losing things? Ooh. Illegal. Needle is kind of getting stuck in the fabric, so let me sharpen it and then see if it will get better. Oh, you can't really see the difference, but I can feel the difference. It was a dark and stormy night, and as I sat alone in my dimly lit office, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. I reached for my whiskey, but my hand paused as my gaze landed on the small pom-pom in my other hand. What was about it so innocuous little ball of fluff that had me so unsettled? Was it the way it seemed to shimmer in the low light, as if it held some hidden power? Or was it the memories it brought to mind? Memories of a time when things were simpler, when the world made sense. But those memories were long gone, and now I found myself tangled up in a web of intrigue and danger. I'd been hired to make a dress with 100,000 pom-poms, but as the deadline loomed, I began to suspect that there was more to this job than met the eye. It was going to be a long night, but as I worked, I couldn't help feel a sense of satisfaction. There was something about the rhythm of making pom-poms that was soothing, almost meditative. And yes, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, that there were eyes on me lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce. And as I worked, I couldn't help but wonder, would I make out of this alive? Would the pom-pom dress be finished on time? Or was this all just a prelude to something even darker? even more dangerous. Only time will tell, but for now I had pom-poms to make. And in this strange and twisted world, that was enough. Now let's try with this. It's a cotton poplin. It is very finicky. This one is very, very thin. Sometimes the threads pull when I'm sewing it. I destroyed this needle as well. It's not only blunt, but I can feel that the tip is kind of crooked now. Like it's catching on my finger. If I try to use it with this fabric, it's getting stuck. That's not good. Yep. Let's sharpen it. Never mind my fingernails, please. It's very dry here and my cuticles are out of control. Any remedies? I can use at home. Only moisturizing is not doing the trick. Stabby stab stab. Ooh, oh, it doesn't feel, it's not catching on the skin anymore. Wow. It does go more smoothly than before, but it's still not 100%. Still making a weird noise. More. Oh yes, now, now it's good, now it's good. There is less resistance here for sure. I never used a needle sharpener before, like for reals. I just roll the needles out when I feel that they're blunt and this, this will help me. <laughs> this works. The cute macaron is a keep for sure. of you came to the rescue of the Clover Mini Iron that I had to give it a second chance. I got two new tips for the Mini Iron. This one is a straight tip used for ironing the inside of puppet socks and that purpose only. And this is a bigger version of the tip that the iron I have already. Look at the difference. This monstrosity. I need a screwdriver that came with Clover thing. Wow, so long. Let's try the skinny one first. 1549. Let's see how long it will take to heat up. I turned off the 3D printer by mistake. Uh, at least it resumed from the place it stopped. Four o'clock now and it is hot to the touch. Here we have our old reliable friend. Oh, where this is not 
supposed to be a normal iron, but I want to see how much it can remove creases from fabric. Oh, this is good to do what it's supposed to do. Let's press this markings to make it flat as a seam. It's not super creased, but it's okay. It's not super crisp as I'm used to. Let's try with a thicker fabric, iron on top, but it's still not hot enough for me. It's not as flat as it could be. Why? Why don't you like me? Why don't you like me? Now the bigger thing. I am not excited. I think this is just not for me to see how it does with the creases. Meh as the other one. It's crisper than the really skinny one, but still not enough for me. I don't know. I'm gonna stop trying to make this work for me and sewing things that are not quilting things because this is just embarrassing. I gave it two other chances and I'm still not happy with it, so that means it's not gonna work for me. I appreciate all of you who came to the rescue of the mini clover iron, but for me it just does not work, so this is a definite yeet from now on. I have no use for it. Or maybe mine is defective. Either way, it's useless. I hate it. The verdict is definite now. It's a yeet. The next one is the Rotary Cutter from Black & Decker, recommended by a bacon on the Discord. Join if you haven't already, we have a lot of interesting things going on there. You can cut cardboard, fabric with a beautiful battery. I am excited. Ooh, this thing is monstrous. It's huge and it's quite heavy, but it's stable on the table. It's stable on the table. <laughs> Comes with an USB-C to charge. I think you need to charge Oh no, this. we don't. Safety button, press it down. Doesn't pull the fabric automatically, which is good. But that means that you have to stabilize the fabric in order to go through with it. Let's pretend this is my pattern. It requires a little bit of practice for sure. You don't need to keep pressing the security button. You just press it once to turn it on and you can let it go. But curves? Oh, this will will take a lot of time for me to get adjusted to. Really interesting. However, the fact that it's not really close to the table, once you put the fabric in, it will be warped. curves. I don't think this is a good idea. A lot of layers. That's like butter. Me being a lefty, it's kind of hard to see where the blade is going. Because I need to be on the table to see where it is. But if you're a right-handed person, you can see where the thing is. Not really lefty friendly. It definitely works. However, I'm not one 100% sure about the space between the blade, the table, and the fact that the fabric cannot be flush with the table. Making curves is hard and requires a little bit of practice, and it's very heavy. Unfortunately, I am eating this. Don't get me wrong, it does what it's supposed to do, but I think it disturbs more than it helps. I'm sorry, yeet! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, then please subscribe. It's free, and I'll see you soon. Ta-ta!